so that took about 45 minutes and I didn't remember how to do half of it so I think I should be able to put it up next time if 30 minutes 35 um, yeah it's ridiculously huge but I like it This is the garage. I had one of those when I first got the tent and I was camped out here and I'd roll that uh, tarp up on the top, that side. These sides will both zip out and you can use those uh, poles like I did in front. I've got another pair of them down here that I got for freebie when I found a replacement for this. So anyway, that thing rolled over to the side and flopped down and I had my uh, little buddy heater sitting in there warming my ankles and I just walked around the darn tent for a second and that's all it took and the wind got it and flipped it back down it ran over into the garage and uh, it uh, burned a hole in it in about a split second. Oh, forgot to put a couple of ties out. So this is another, uh, like a rear vestibule that comes off the rain fly that's pretty freaking big. And I just got to stake it out a couple of places with that. But uh, yeah, the old tents are massive. I've got the rain fly sitting on it. I don't have anything tightened down. I might, I'll probably roll it back halfway because about where that REI thing is, is a divider and there's uh, two rooms in it and the, if, if I uh, can do some star looking tonight maybe in the front so there's the partition So yeah, you open that up, and then here's the other room. I like dropping that down and keeping just the screen going, and it's actually pretty cool in here. Usually, if it's a really hot night, and uh, yeah, you can put uh, you can open these two screens and leave that deal in the middle, and can you get some cross flow? And then, of course, you can see the inside of the thing, front and back, are uh, mesh on the top, which is kind of cool. This one goes down a little farther. It goes down all the way to the little shoe pockets, whereas that one's got a kind of a solid wall, the same height. So, yeah, pretty neat. Okay, I forgot to put the those little velcros onto the rain fly I might pull those off right quick I'll probably won't because I'll probably roll the thing back part well part of the way so yeah if you keep it kind of zipped up you just keep the just let the screen be open and it keeps uh, bug free and uh, this little mat here is a just an RV mat cheap little thing from Walmart for like 10 bucks or so but it keeps the dirt out of the thing and I've got my alternate sleeping area in here that I probably should just be using because it's a lot less hassle but I I don't mind it I like it uh, like having that all set up there's all kinds of room in there it's kind of neat and uh yeah got the kayaks up there ready to play around a little bit got some skirts uh, my vest 
paddle to go under there pretty good. I've still got some space that I could use under there for more stuff. This campground's beautiful. I, I really like it. It's, uh, as long as you don't look uh, to your left too much. <laughs> and then it's a typical campground. But luckily the little showers and potties are just right over there a ways. And they're pretty nice. And then there's Nickajack Lake. And it makes for some pretty nice nights, some pretty evenings. I've camped out here at Nickajack several nights uh, when I was coming down to Chattanooga and hanging out more. I'd try to stay here at least a couple of nights. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. Thanks for dropping by.